Hi Cancer and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your support so far. Please like, comment, share and subscribe so I can keep this channel going. So this is, as you can see, an extra mid-month, mid-May video I'm doing because I'm sensing some shifts in the, en the collective energy. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, bottom of the deck, you've got renewal. So this speaks to me of a reconciliation. You're being guided together um, or moving in a new direction on your own. Take what resonates. And we've got the awakening card here. Um, try to look at things from a different perspective. You might have a bit of a temporary standstill um, going on at the moment in your life. I mean, a lot of us do. But with the Ten of Earth, you know, happy family life and finances. Yeah, everything. Um, we've got a Pisces energy potentially or Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, with these two, I'm really getting um, some sadness, maybe needing to heal, forgive, forgive others. Um, might be to do with like a love offer that didn't work out as you'd hoped. And this is really a time for, yeah, for healing and the forgiveness, you know, of yourself more than anything I think is important more than sort of for the for the other person we've got a transition here though seven to the eight of earth so yeah again a temporary standstill is really coming through really feeling a bit stuck but there's no need to worry um, because with the eight of pentacles your work is going to be rewarded you might end up going back to school to learn something, make a change. This might be what this is about. There was a lack of a loss of finances, maybe, could be. And you decide to make a change. OK, let's clarify this awakening, please. Okay, so I'm getting this could be then someone on your mind, someone from your past who's on your mind, and um, or just in your in your love life, and there's this standstill you can't see each other. But there's going to be a transformation, definitely. It's going to be a change. It could be a Scorpio. Let's get this three. Three of air, please. Let's clarify. Okay, so definitely someone wanting to come in and communicate with you for a new beginning. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong fire. But yeah, um, there's been some hurt, I think, 
in relation to this person. There's definitely someone from the past. And so that's where you're going to need to forgive, as I said, even just for yourself. I'm not saying you have to, you know, take this person back. That's your choice. How about this four of water? Okay, we've got a repeat card there, three of swords. So yeah, definitely there might even be some hurt. I have to put that out there um, that, that's to come. Maybe a third party situation and you decide to move on. Yeah, and that's where, that's what I was getting before that love offer and you move on from it and you feel unhappy about it, but you know it's the right decision. Okay, let's see for this eight of earth to finish. Okay. Well, well, you got the repeat card there. Eight of Earth. Um, so definitely you might just focus on work. But interesting that we got three energies here. So again, is it like this other person that's involved? We've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And definitely a lot of fast movement, a lot of communication, passion, back and forth. But I'm getting this is you in the middle, although it's air energy, this is you with your sword up, you're going to have your boundaries in place, you know, you're not going to just accept anything. This could be a new energy as well that comes in, you know, two energies and quite a lot of energies here. Let's get some more on this for you, Cancer. Well, lots of energies because we've got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo here as well. So is it, yeah, someone else involved? Strongly getting, but wanting to commit. And two tens, so an ending and a new beginning. Yeah, it could be that one of these you end with and then you start again with someone else. Um, yeah, it feels like, you know, it's it's quite hard to read it on the collective, but there's a lot of people involved here. Definitely. Okay, and a page of cups. Right, so, yeah, it could be a new person, as I said, and this can indicate someone from the past. So that's why I'm getting two energies, potentially. And you will obviously make your choice for the right one that makes you feel like this Queen of Pentacles wants to commit. Okay, might be an age gap as well. Okay, let's just take some Oracle cards to finish. Yeah, these are really relevant. So ideal course of action yeah choose the right path because there's a really good path ahead of you follow your heart and you will go you know you're, you're going to be guided i feel divinely guided and love matters here and interesting this card we've got the bird that come person that comes towards you but there's one in the background so it's really strongly coming through that other energy, but you're going to choose the right one. Okay, this person might be at a distance from you, another country or state, but I'm seeing a really bright future with this person. So 
choose wisely <laughs> cancer that's all i can say okay cancer so i hope this might have resonated please like comment share and subscribe if it did i do personal readings so check the description below for more details and i'll see you again soon